just got done mowing the lawn. iOS 26 just got some insane bling to it. All right, boys and girls, if you haven't seen my previous video on how to install iOS 26 completely for free, check out the link in the description for my video. Anyways, so first thing you guys notice over here is a new lock screen. But before I go into that, I want to show you guys how the icons just bounce in when you unlock the screen. But anyways, you're going to go in and you can tap and hold. And this is really cool. So I'm going to hit customize with my clock. I can actually go in and adjust it to make it really long. Absolutely crazy. I usually like to keep it around right there. You also have spatial wallpapers, so it kind of has like a really crazy parallax effect, 3D almost. So here I have a different wallpaper, and you guys can see the cat is above that. And with that, you can see you get this icon over here. So tap on it, and you guys can see it's generating spatial scene. And boom, look at that. That is so, so, so cool. The spatial feature also works with any of your photos. Tap on a photo, and okay, there's one of me. We have that icon over there as well. Tap on it. Now it has a spatial scene, and it's like I'm in 3D. That is so cool. Here's another example. I mean, just check out how cool that is. What's also really cool is visual intelligence. So if I go ahead and open up X, I go to a picture or something, and let's say I want to know what it was. So I would just use a familiar gesture of taking a screenshot. And now we have two options at the bottom, image search or ask. So I go and tap on image search and see more photos of what I just took a screenshot of or just to see what that jacket is that I want to buy or anything like that. You can also go and tap on the ask button. What car is this? Boom, you guys see the car is a BMW M4. So yeah, that is visual intelligence. Moving on, let's go back into the iPhone. And before we had dark icons, but now if I go and tap and hold, tap on edit, customize. And now on the bottom over here, we have not only the regular mode but also the clear option let me go ahead and set it to light and look at that that is absolutely crazy have translucent icons glass icons on ios 26 and aside from that the regular icons just got a whole new look so you guys can see the camera app it looks kind of like the old camera app and it's like the lens is a lot bigger new photos app the maps app has been a little bit updated so basically like the icons inside like the actual image actually has become bigger i've noticed new mail icon so that that is really cool. Safari just looks nicer. Everything just has like a nice like polish to it. And Apple is calling this new style liquid glass. So you guys can see even the control center has a transparent look and it looks really nice in my opinion. Some people might think it's too transparent, but I like it. Let's head over to the settings. The icons are bigger and everything is just spaced out nicer. And yeah, you guys can see that it just looks so nice. And with this liquid glass look, even the buttons look really, really cool. So you guys can see it has like this like nice like shine to it. In messages, you can go in and change the background. So go to backgrounds and watch this. Boom. So you can change it to whatever you want, kind of like you were able to do in WhatsApp. So just look at that and it's moving too. Like what? That is so cool. Also go ahead and start a poll. So it'll actually use the context of your message to see if you actually want to, to start a poll automatically. Simply just tap on whichever one you want and you guys will see the votes adding up. From here, here's the Mills app and basically looks pretty similar. Here's calculator, again, pretty similar. Let's open up the camera app. At the bottom, you just have video or photo. So if I go to photo, then I can go ahead and also go to the other options as well but yeah now it's just video and photo before apple was adding too many features and now it's so much more easy to follow if you tap on this button in the top right it'll bring up this menu right over here where you can adjust the flash exposure and change it to action mode really quickly so this is a toggle that most people change a lot also on the top left you could change frames per second the resolution and also the codec so overall a much more refined experience also a notification center also has that gloss effect which is really really nice and cool and futuristic and again when you swipe back up it has that same bounce effect everything is very bouncy and the folders look really nice too they have this really nice effect to it you guys can see that there's a new games app so you go and tap right here to connect with your friends just through this one central hub so even the buttons again are really really cool like watch this like look at the different animation and the way it just looks really cool with all the lights and everything oh my gosh this show shiny but yeah this is that app and Again, it looks really awesome for playing all your games and connecting with your friends. There's also a new preview app. So go and tap on that to preview all of your files. You can also go and tap on this button to scan documents. Position the document in view. And you can also sign, annotate, and edit PDF documents. And again, the buttons, all of their UI just have that bounce and shine effect. Photos is back, so people will start liking it again. So again, it's much more streamlined. You just have library and collections over here. That's the Photos app. And there's a search on the bottom right. Basically 
FaceTime messages and all that now live transcribe and translate from different languages what's being talked about through FaceTime. What's also really cool is call screening. So if you get a phone call from an unknown caller, you don't have to pick up. It'll use AI to see who the person is that is calling and it'll let you know. And then you can pick up the phone if you so decide. Also, if you're put on hold, it'll detect the hold music and then you can put your phone away. And once it detects that you are now with a live agent, iOS 26 will ring you back so you can pick up and return to the call. Safari got a new look. So if I head over here, I can see again, much more streamlined and you're just gonna tap and hold your finger and hover through the menus and you guys can see the menu does interact with the way you position your fingers. So that's really interesting. It's very jelly-like. So I go to all tabs from over here, go back in. I'm gonna open up a new tab and you guys can see. You can now enhance and customize your browsing experience with your favorite extensions. Safari supports extensions too. These buttons kind of look separate as opposed to this being like one bar at the bottom. Nice little back button as well. And you can also access all of your tabs with a simple pinch to zoom out. And let's not forget the keyboard looks nicer. So again, it's taking up more of space on the screen. It's going a little more edge to edge, which is nice. So the buttons are a little bigger and if I go to the emojis no longer is there the sticker option or I guess it's disabled by default that was super annoying otherwise the keyboard is pretty much the same and if you do have Apple music if you go in and play a song that has like a music video like a cover you go in and lock your phone and once you go ahead and tap over here it'll actually go in and play that music video in full screen I have Spotify so I can't do that I cry every time but anyways the volume slider also looks nicer so it has that little shine to it and even buttons in the control center are kind of animated now so they look really really cool let's jump into the maps app so here's what it looks like it looks pretty similar now let's go out to the car for apple carplay here we are and if i head over to settings i could also adjust the appearance from light to dark so there's what that looks like i can also customize the icons so i can have them as default or dark or clear just like with on the iphone tap on wallpaper and now we have many new wallpapers if i tap on display there's also smart display zoom you guys can see it fits the screen better so everything is a little more condensed tap on accessibility and enable voice control so once i do that i could just say open spotify what? And yes, it keeps listening. So you can just say it whenever. Really, really neat feature. Back in accessibility, I can also enable bold text and I can also change the text size. And last, you can enable color filters so I can make it all green or something. Now, if I go back to the home screen, I go and swipe to the left and to the very left, it says welcome to widgets. So Apple CarPlay now has widgets, which is a feature that many people have been wanting. And right off the bat, we do have an analog clock so it could look classy. And oh boy, let's take in this beautiful sunset. Let's head back. I iOS 26 great update. This is the text bot. Peace out.